going on YouTube? Time for my thoughts on Encounter, an oriental woody fragrance delivered to us in 2012 from Calvin Klein. Now, I was excited when I was first hearing about this one, a designer fragrance marketed around oud and boozy notes. I'm like, yes, please don't let me down. <laughs> Did it let me down? Well, we're going to find out. Notes in this fragrance are mandarin, cardamom, rum, pepper, jasmine, patchouli, cognac, oud, cedar, and musk. Now, when I first sprayed this one, immediately I thought of Ombre Russe. Ombre Russe is another fragrance that has a very boozy opening. Uh, that one, a lot more boozy than this fragrance. And what I get out of this fragrance... Uh, definitely it has a boozy aspect, but I would give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, that rum, that sweetness, that cognac at the top of this, to me it comes off more of like a dried fruit accord with just a touch of a boozy quality there as well. Uh, with that at the top, I get the cardamom, I get a sweet spice, I get a touch of earthy patchouli there, and uh, I get the agarwood, I get the oud, but it's not like an oud that's very loud and prominent. It sits very softly in the background, uh, just adding uh, a dark, warm, woody aspect to this fragrance, which uh, I don't mind it in perfumes when they do that, because uh, oud, used very delicately and softly, can create just an awesome backdrop for folks that might not be uh, overly enthused about BAM SLAM OODS IN YOUR FACE! <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with that. So this is definitely not, you know, like an OOD fragrance in your face, uh, for sure. <laughs> definitely not. More of that boozy, dried fruit sweetness with just a very nice, uh, soft, woody backdrop. Now, some people do complain about this fragrance and longevity and projection. I gotta tell you, for longevity out of this, I get 8 to 10 hours. This one lasts me. Uh, the whole entire day at work. And projection, uh, I can see where some people would complain about this because after a few hours, this one does sit closer to the skin, but I wouldn't call it a skin scent because, man, after seven hours, uh, people have to be close to you. But for me, after seven hours, like I'm still getting people telling me that I smell great, but they got to be close to me. And this one, you know, this one has definitely been a compliment getter for sure. I didn't have one person... Uh, say anything bad. They all said very positive things. And if you've seen uh, the best fall cologne video, Amanda loves this one, so that's great. Let's get into some real talk. How do I really feel about Calvin Klein's Encounter? Well, I'm not terribly disappointed and I'm not too enthused either. This fragrance for me is pretty much right in the middle. Just kind of okay. There are some things with this frag that uh, are just not up to par. Like for me, there is a touch of an incense feel with this fragrance, probably coming from the agarwood. I would have liked to have seen uh, more of an incense punch with this blend, adding a little bit of edge, a little bit more masculinity, roughening this fragrance up a little bit, adding a little bit more uh, character from this blend. The overall blend to me comes off kind of dull, just like it's kind of missing something. I mean, it's okay. It's not horrible. Uh, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more spice in this as well. To me, the spice is kind of muted. The whole fragrance to me seems kind of muted, and it comes off kind of uh, having lesser quality. It definitely does not come off like a top shelf, uh, top ingredient type of fragrance. I know when you go reading reviews out in the community, some people will talk about that, uh, that it smells kind of cheap. Uh, I can agree with that. And a lot of people complain about the projection and longevity issues. For me, this fragrance actually does uh, very well. Now let's get into the progression of this fragrance. For me, this thing pretty much stays the same from beginning to end. I get that dry fruit accord throughout the whole life of this. Just gradually through the hours, it gets softer and duller. Now, uh, this thing, this thing could have been... Could have been a contender, man. Could have been a rock star for me. If they would let me in that lab, tweak this thing up a bit, uh, take out some of the lesser quality ingredients, throw in some quality, turn up the incense, throw in some more spice, this thing probably would have thoroughly rocked my socks off and I would have been flipping pumped. Overall, the way it sits is just okay. Now, I hate this to come across as me giving this a bad review. You know, for the fragrance enthusiasts, the hobbyists, the fragrance junkies like myself, you're going to smell this, and you're going to go, 
Yeah, uh, that's a pass. You're not going to be too enthused with it, but for the average guy, this is definitely a welcome addition to uh, the department stores out there when you're looking for a fragrance for a cologne for uh, the cooler months, for fall and wintertime. I would definitely give this one a look into. And coming from Calvin Klein, a house that I'm not really enthused about, this coming from them, uh, I am very enthused about this one for the average guy. Uh, that something like this has made it to the fragrance counters. Uh, I dig that. And it doesn't hurt that the flipping ladies <laughs> seem to dig it. So that's awesome. You got to love that. Uh, but that, oh, I got to mention one more thing about something that ladies dig. The face behind this fragrance, I didn't realize this until a few days ago, is, what's his name? Alexander Skarsgård. Uh, Eric from True Blood. <laughs> if any of you watch True Blood, you know who Eric is. I never watched it until, I don't know, six months ago or something. Amanda got me hooked on the show. No, I freaking love it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm posting my scent of the day on Facebook, and I'm like, wow, look who the face behind this fragrance is. It's Eric. And of course, you get all the ladies going, oh, I love Eric. <laughs> so that was always fun to read. But whatever. Anyways, that is my take on Calvin Klein's Encounter. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys take care, and we'll see you soon.